Hello, I'm Leslie Atherton and this story is called For a Smile. I really do try to look after myself, to exercise regularly, to eat all the right foods and to wear clothes that flatter and cling to my curves. This dress is one of my favourites. It's all the shades of blue with a nipped in bodice and a skirt that expresses just the right amount of wiggle in my walk. Men appreciate that, but once I turn and they see my face, their silent wolf whistles freeze and stop. They stare at me for just that little bit too long, as if they can't believe what they're seeing, and then they look away awkwardly. Nice leg shame about the face, I can tell that's what they're thinking, and it's been said to my face too, more than once. But I feel sorry for the nice ones who walk off with heads down, full of pity for me. After all, I'm practically immune to the sadness now, having been accustomed to the stares and sympathy since I came into the world as a special baby. I'm one in 50,000 and I have Treacher Collins syndrome. Apparently I'm a result of a genetic mutation, but I don't see any X-Men characters looking much like me. Let's just say I'm a little unusual. My cheekbones are flattened, my chin recedes, my eyes droop and I have to wear a hearing aid anchored into my skull bones because I don't have an opening to my inner ear. But hey, at least my profound deafness cuts out the sounds of horrified gasps and the occasional gargoyle comment. That's got to be a good thing. That's me all over. I try to make people laugh and look on the bright side. Here's another positive. At least my slow, difficult eating, because I have a malformed palate, ensures that I don't gain weight. And that means I can still fit into this slinky frock five years after I bought it. And yes, it's sometimes hard to breathe because of my facial anatomy and my impaired vision. But I reckon that just makes me see life in an alternative, less obvious and energetic way. Yes, I'm one of life's optimists. But I bloody hate being called brave or inspiring. I'm not. I'm just me. Happy, sad, bored, scared, excited, lonely, just like you. Dr Jim, my consultant, I've known him forever, is going to tell me later about my next round of craniofacial surgery. It was a regular occurrence when I was a kid, but doesn't happen so often now. Hence the dressing up. It's a special occasion. But damn, 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 I can't get the bloody earring in. I rarely can, mainly because of my lack of real earlobes. And I always regret trying. But I want to look my best and... Once I've done my hair, the other options are a bit limited. Makeup's pointless. I don't have eyelashes. I've got downy hair on my cheeks and I'm always getting eye infections because I don't make proper tears. So I persist with the stupid earrings. It doesn't take long before I'm annoyed and I give up and wipe the blood from my ear onto my pretty blue dress. That's when it hits me that today's a self-pitying day. Bugger. I flick myself on the side of the cheek. Buck up, I tell myself. Buck up, buck up. You're not a fuck up. That always makes me giggle. And I smile too. Oh, I know I'm not pretty. But I do look better when I smile. We all do.